In this quick tutorial, I'm showing you how to create a digital clock. In a nutshell, I'm adding a UI text element to the scene, downloading a new font from Google Fonts, and assigning it to the text. I have a tutorial available that covers these steps, but in this video, I'm speeding through it. For this tutorial, I want to concentrate on the script part of the digital clock. In the Projects panel, let's go ahead and right-click Assets, choose Folder, create a folder called Scripts, now we can right click it, go to create and choose C sharp scripts. Let's name it digital clock. Next step is to double click the digital clock script. So we have our visual studio that opens up. With visual studio opened, we need to introduce a field here that will hold a reference to our digital clock display text element. This field is of type uh, text mesh pro. I'm just naming it a text display. Probably could have named it better. Next, we need uh, some fields here to hold the hour, minute and second. Since we're going to be updating the hour, minute, and second in the update method, we don't want to be creating those variables every time. As you can see here in the start method, I have a reference to the text mesh pro. And I'm also adding a field here of type uh, date time that gets the current time. So again, on line 17 there, there is a text display equals get component text mesh pro. That is a, that's going to hold a reference to the digital clock display. Now in the update method, I am grabbing a reference to the current daytime, and then I'm splitting that daytime into hour, minutes, and seconds. Now that our variables have those, those values of hour, minute, and second, then I'm just gonna build that string and display it on the digital clock display text UI element. Let's save the script, go back to Unity, highlight the digital clock display UI element, and let's drag and drop that digital clock script onto the inspector. Next, let's run the project and see the results. Right now it's 1231 AM. It displays the time, but the zero there looks a little strange. So let's go back to Visual Studio and make a change. We're gonna add some padding here. So then we have consistency between the times. So when it's, so they always have a leading zero, you know? If it is, if it is 1, 1, 0, 3 p.m., then it displays that way. Displays 0, 1, 0, 3 p.m. There it is, now it's padded. Just a small touch up here at the end. Let me change this placeholder text to dash dash column dash dash. And let's run it one more time. There it is, that's our digital clock working. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching.